uh, very, very carefully slow the trot down, but slow him down in shoulder four position. No, that's shoulder in. Slow him down. Send him forward slowly. Slow him down. Go forward. Go forward. Shoulder in. Go forward. A little more right leg. Slap him a little bit with your right leg. Yeah, that's okay. That's too much. Go forward. Go forward. Good girl. Good. Once more on the next long side. He knows this, so we're going to play with him a little bit so you get an idea of it. Slow him down a little more. Left rein, right leg. Slow him down a little more. Slow him down a little more. Get two legs on him. Sit a little bit more. Get two legs on him. Sit a little more. Easy. Sit a little bit more. Good girl. Go forward. Pat him. Two hands. Beautiful, huh? But you see, he's had a lot of, a year and a half, as Susie would, would gladly tell you. She says, Michael, is it really worth it? <laughs> a year and a half, this lady put up with this horse because there was a lot of things that were wrong. And this is very open, and she knows this. But we have today a very nice horse, a lovely rider, and he's going to be exquisite at what he does. We can do a little bit to the left. A lot of practice went into what we were doing to get this result. And we can go even a little bit further, and we'll modify our half halts a little bit more, and we will get him to do a few steps of Piaf for you. Okay, Susie, let's go back into the trot again, please. Please don't touch the reins when, you go, when you'll be asking to trot him with the reins like this. And then pick up the reins when you get going. Trot him. Now, when you get going, pick up the reins. Sometimes with a horse that's sensitive like this, if you pick up the reins too quick or too soon, you actually can teach the horse as you pick up the reins that you want him to do something. And that's not good because, in essence, he's backing off the bit. Okay, the next long side, the same thing. Keep the outer rein close to his neck. Position him a little more to the right. Two legs close. Sneak him back slower. Stay close. Don't allow him to run the lesson. Think about only forward. A little bit slower. He's listening. A little bit slower. Go forward. Don't hold the reins too much. And I, 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 you can stay there a couple more steps. Yep. Come on. At Caesar. Come on. Get your legs closer. Gently, inner leg, inner leg, a little more right leg. Go forward, get rid of the hands, get out of there. Good. Beautiful. That's about as much as you want to do at this stage of the development of the horse. All right, because he's beginning to lose his balance. Hey, that's enough. You ask too much. Yeah, don't try, to, don't try to force the issue and stay in the movement itself, getting a scrambled egg, rather than just take a few strides. They were good. You, in the moment you feel him getting just the slightest bit behind the leg, Rather ride them out of it and reestablish it. It is always better to repeat than to make a mess out of your movement, and then you have to totally reschool your horse. And the key thing about going out is do not, with a horse like this, do not say go out. Because right away the effect of the aid is lost, and therefore the control of the rhythm is lost. And eventually, if I continue to do this, I would destroy the rhythm that would come which is so beautiful right now for the Piaf and later on for the transition to Passat.